Karen Can here with another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And my question for you this week is, have you been feeling tired? <laughs> well, I slept through my alarm today and didn't wake up till almost 10 a.m. Thank goodness I didn't have to physically go into work today. Uh, missed my coaching call with my nutrition uh, coach from uh, Fast Metabolism Diet, and I apologize to you, Sue. Um, and, uh, wow. So, uh, some of us are actually needing more sleep lately because of some of our spiritual gifts opening up. And uh, one of the avenues that our gifts seem to be opening up is through these interdimensional portals, which, um, I may have mentioned earlier that are found on the center line of your body. So these portals are in the potential space between your skin and the first auric layer. Now, I didn't really know that there was even such a thing there, except that I kept finding energy weapons and different things, um, you know, last year in this potential space. Uh, but these interdimensional portals seem to uh, open sequentially um, optimally if it's sequentially so the opening to the fifth dimension that portal i believe is located uh in the back of the heart so in the back body so right where the heart is and that's your access to the fifth dimension and then there's six seventh eight so on so forth and there are approximately 43 or so i am told now this is still pretty new stuff to me so I'm just kind of like the reporter and telling you what I'm finding. So in some folks, as these portals open, what's happening is all this amazing light streaming energy is coming and getting kind of like downloaded to you. So if your physical body isn't quite optimally ready for all that light, it might give you some signals of discomfort. That could be anything from headaches um, to feeling really tired um, or just really spacey, foggy, ungrounded. And sometimes if some of you, especially you star seeds, who are very, very light uh, energy to begin with, who have difficulty grounding in the body, this could really topple you over and make you very top heavy. So the trick is to be able to ground these energies um, and integrate them into all your body, mind, spirit in the highest and best way. And so I have uh, tweaked my Ascension 1s and 2s uh, to help with this uh, grounding process with the new light streams coming in. Now, some people who are, of course, now really sophisticated as far as knowing about entities and hidden entities, extraterrestrials and entities, think sometimes as things are going a little wacko in their life that they're getting attacked. Guess what? A lot of times you're not getting attacked, especially if you've been using my MP3s and MP4s the Ascension 1s and 2s, most of the time you're going to be clear and your environment is going to be clear if you're using them on a regular basis. So what can happen is as these new light streams of energy come through these portals, you just need to ground those so you don't have things flying around in your kitchen because you're telekinetic and didn't know you were. <laughs> um, Speaking of spiritual gifts, uh, I had a wonderful thing happen this week. Uh, my husband James actually discovered it, that um, we would come into the house, and he said to me, do you smell that? And I said, it smells like flowers. And he goes, not flowers, roses. It smells like roses in here. And so we were walking around the house, like sniffing our plants and different things, and and it was just amazing. It was just the smell of roses. And so I remember from Doreen Virtue's book, How to Hear Your Angels, that uh, that sometimes you can smell roses or flowers when your angels are around. And so I checked and tested, and sure enough, there are 45 angels around us. How cool is that? But then I asked, well, how come I'm not smelling this, at least certainly not as intensely at work or the shopping mall since these angels kind of follow us around? And I got that the light power of the home is very high, like a 98, 99, and that is due to three of my light being extraterrestrial friends who have been with me and keep tabs on me <laughs> since that was as a past life, I was a light being extraterrestrial. And you may remember me saying I was Lemurian as well, so that's a different life uh, that I was uh, in an alternate timeline, so to speak, and also my higher self was that as well, the Lemurian Ascended Master. So these light being friends, them just their presence in our home actually elevates the light power uh, in our home. And, and 
I thought, well, well, how does that make me smell the angels? And what I got from the answer from Source God was that um, that actually helps amplify our clairs, our clair sentience, our clair, you know, voyance, you know, that kind of thing. So in this case, it's clair essence, right? Because I can smell them. I still don't see angels like full body angels, you know, in front of me, my visual eyes, my my you know, my physical eyes rather. Um, and uh, most of the things that I hear are not with my physical ears. They're usually with my inner ear, my inner uh, eyesight, uh, which is getting stronger by the day. So don't be surprised if some of your spiritual gifts start to pop up and it may seem uncomfortable. Um, you may find that sounds become much more uncomfortable if they're loud or you might you know, find your eyes are watery or dry or itchy or some sort of symptom related to your eyes when your clairvoyance is coming through. Um, so you can have all sorts of interesting symptoms. You can even have nasal congestion and things like that as your um, clairgustience and clarescence is coming through. So anything is possible. So all you got to do is do your divine muscle testing and check which is which, what is causing this issue. Um, so it was really cool. And I got to tell you, it is so amazing to walk into the house from outdoors and smell this amazing rose <laughs> smell. It's like so, so cool. And I'm so grateful for that experience. So uh, so hopefully you will also be smelling your angels too soon. Now, let's get back to the interdimensional portals for a minute because um, for those of you that have symptoms, uh, what I've discovered is in, in a couple of people that all 43 of these interdimensional portals were wide open and they were getting so much light energy and so much light information actually that it was really causing their physical body stress. And because the physical body, if it's not completely balanced, uh, it's going to be really difficult to integrate and ground that light uh, uh, with ease. So what I've done in Ascension 1 and 2, and you can do this manually as well with your Topican healing, is to create doors on the uh, interdimensional portals that should not be open for you right now, given the state of your physical, uh, mental, emotional bodies, you know, for it to handle it. So what I've done is we created um, these doors with these kind of shutter-like things. So the shutters actually open and close. Um, and what I've asked is for all those that should not be open because your physical body can't handle it yet, for all those dimensional uh, portals to be closed for now. And then when your body can handle it, that they be opened uh, with ease and grace so that you can integrate and ground the energies very naturally without pain or discomfort. So think about, remember those 007 movies where you saw the camera shutter open and close? Think of it as one of those. So I put one of those on your door to your interdimensional portal so it'll slowly open so you'll be able to, you know, receive the new uh, light energies with ease and grace. And then also created orders um, uh, infused into Ascension 1 and 2 to be able to ground those light energies and get your body to understand that this is not something to be stressful about. You just need to you know ground those energies into all the different bodies so hopefully those of you that have had symptoms it will get better um, those of you that have headaches I was having headaches when my um, uh, uh, portal to the sixth and seventh dimension were opened up earlier in the week and then the eighth and the same day as the seventh and what I noticed was that uh, my brain lymphatics were a little bit a mm, little bit cloggy or, you know, backed up. So I did some Topican healing on it and uh, was able to get it to flow better. And so when the uh, next several portals opened over the next couple of days, I didn't actually feel it, uh, at least not as a headache. Um, I did, like I said, sleep in today. So that was probably related to the last one getting, uh, oh, the eighth, uh, the eighth one getting opened up. Um, so that extra sleep that we need. Uh, but at least my physical body is doing well. Other than that, it's like, yay. So be kind to yourself and just realize that a lot of times there's nothing, anything wrong. It's just that you're changing, you're morphing. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, the other thing, in, in, in case you don't remember, um, is these interdimensional portals should be in the center line. So if they're misaligned, that could cause some problems too. So you want to align them into your center line or where they belong. And the Ascension 1 and 2s will help you do that. You can just focus on that if you want to do it quicker. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the light power because I talked earlier that the you know three light beings that hang around um, and keep tabs on me, uh, they hang out in a home and they increase the light power of the home. So I asked God about the light power and I got that our astral bodies, we can actually increase the light power of our astral bodies and that in turn will then increase our overall uh, light power in all of uh, all areas, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etc. So the light power is the power that you wield 
world with your light, so to speak. Um, whereas the um, light score is the balance of light and dark energies in any particular thing you're testing. What's closest to source basically has a higher light score. And the light radius is basically your area that you're affecting, you know, whether it be physical, your physical light radius, or the light radius remotely. So the higher your light score, um, the more likely you are to affect people that are remote to you or that you're just connected with, not necessarily physically in the vicinity of those people. Help depossess your entities, extend the universal shield to cover them as well, and uh, to start increasing the light score. And I do believe that if your light power um, gets higher and higher, as it will naturally uh, anyway, um, then you'll be able to affect those people at much greater uh, speed, and um, their light scores may elevate uh, faster in your presence or with connection to you. And, of, of course, this is all if it's for the highest good. So I recently had a neighbor say that, uh, who lives about a quarter mile away, that um, – you know, her son saw a ghost the other day. So I asked her, so I'm like, well, how come the ghost didn't clear with my light radius? And my understanding was that that family really needed to acknowledge that he has those clairvoyant gifts. And without knowing that he saw the ghost, they wouldn't have known that he had the clairvoyant gifts. So they had to honor that. And it was really important for them to know. So in this case, the ghost wasn't harmful, but that it didn't clear until we did a manual clearing after, you know, the family understood that, yes, he did see a ghost and he is clairvoyant and, you know, so on and so forth. So you see how that works? So you don't always get what you want, but you have to understand that it is for whatever it is, is for the highest good. So you can honor everyone's experience in this. Um, so I'm reading a couple of great books. Now, I did the... Uh, uh, radio show with Kathy Holmeyer, my good friend, who uh, created this awesome book, Common Roots Cookbook. And so it's sort of like a storybook and a cookbook, and it kind of meshes um, old world traditions with stories and uh, kind of modern understandings of nutrition. Um, there's poetry in here. There's lots of pictures in here. It's a great gift for someone. If you know, got somebody who's you know their birthday or you know um, future Christmas present, whatever. It's a really really great gift. And there's a lot of great recipes in here. You're not going to find anywhere else because these are like passed down family family you know, family to family traditions. And then Kathy, who is an energy healer and an amazing chef and an occupational therapist and an emotion coach <laughs> and uh, practitioner uh, is able to kind of put all these pieces together. So this is a labor of love. I highly recommend you check it out, nourishing9d.com and check out the replay of our radio show uh, that we did. And uh, Kathy actually has a special going on. It's an introductory special for the emotion code. So if you have never experienced the emotion code, um, you want to learn more about trapped emotions and how that might help you, then check out uh, nourishing90.com forward slash shop. And you'll check out that, that there is a special, time limited special, it's a half price off of the introductory emotion code session. So uh, instead of $50 for a 20-minute session, it is going to be $24.50, which is awesome. So just check that out if you want to experience that one-on-one -on -one with Kathy. Um, that's where I would recommend you go. Now, the other book that I'm reading that actually Kathy uh, actually recommended this author, um, David Wilcox, it's called Ascension Mysteries. Of course, there were ascensions in there, right? So once I saw that, I thought I got to get this book. Now, it's quite the tome. It's like 400 and something pages bigger bigger than my guide to healing chronic pain book which is 416 pages and um it's called uh, ascension mysteries uh, revealing the cosmic battle between good and evil and i haven't really gotten into the i'm only halfway done which talks a lot about david's uh, upbringing and uh, uh, how he discovered, you know, about the powers that be that kind of run the whole world um, that are, uh, you know, there's uh, bad ETs, there's good ETs. That is what I have found on my testing, um, that the bad ETs are influencing, you know, humans and humanity and the so-called secret government. Um, and they're, you know, causing uh, certain things to happen. And uh, that could seem very hopeless and very, you know, down. And for those of us who are like, oh, my gosh, the big corporations are taking over and you know you know who's president now and that's not good well here's the thing the whole point of controlling people so that um, this you know secret government whoever they are get what they want is to keep you in fear fight flight or freeze so that you don't rebel 
And, um, but you know, the fight can sometimes feel like a rebellion too. So you have to check yourself and see, am I in a place of peace, despite everything that's going on in the world, even, you know, horrible things happening? Can I still come back to that place of center and peace and connection with source? Or do I get lost among the masses and get wrapped up in the fear, you know, because that's exactly what they want want okay they you, that you get wrapped up in the fear you get so distracted then you go to your sugar and then your alcohol and then your caffeine and then your video games and your tv shows and whatever it is that shopping you know in my case you know whatever it is you know and then you distract yourself from what's really going on um so that is going to be the challenge especially for the people that are healers and that want to be healers. So if you are in a place of fear and scarcity and the world's going to hell in a handbasket, this is really awful, check yourself. No, no, no. Okay, hang on. How do I get to that place of peace again despite whatever is happening in the outside world? The news is completely skewed, so you have to use your inner guidance and your inner sight to know what's really going on. And here's the really cool news. Okay, think about this. Okay, say you got the that, them against us kind of mentality, which I really, you know, we're all growing away from that. Um, but say there are the powers that be that are like trying to, you know, hurt people and are evil. Well, they have children, right? They have children. They have grandchildren. And guess what? Their child might be a star child. Their child might be an indigo child. Their grandchildren are indigo child. And you know what? They still have love. They might be evil, but they're human. They still have love. And isn't that cool that spirit finds a way to change the status quo? So just don't be locked into that belief that you can't change things and things can't get better. Okay? So I just want to give that little perception to you just to see uh, what the difference is. So, um, so uh, we have some great radio shows coming out. Uh, we're gonna post the the links once they're ready on my Facebook page. So check it out at KarenCan. Dot com. You can click on my Facebook page. And if you don't have uh, a free copy of my first six chapters of my book and the Fast Track Your Healing classes and the Energy Clearing Spray, definitely get on my list, KarenCan.com, to check those out. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you and how things have been for you with the Ascension upgrades. It's been a lot of energy, a lot of stuff going on, and I really hope that one day you're going to smell these roses too. All right, have a great week, everyone. Bye for now.